Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In case of mainline service, we know that we have a certain speed time curve. But when we try to establish the relationship between principal quantities, then we have to use simplified speed time curve. And for the mainline service, we use trapezoidal type of speed time curve. So first let us uh, draw the trapezoidal speed time curve. So we have x axis and we have y axis. On the x axis, we take a uh, time and that is in second on the y axis we take a speed in kilometer per hour and then we draw the trapezoidal curve first we have acceleration Then after acceleration, it reached to maximum speed. Then we have free running and after completion of free running, we have retardation. So this is our uh, speed time curve and uh, we start with point O. Then here we have point A, B and C. So for the sake of simplicity, we divide our trapezoidal type of speed time curve into three parts. First part that is the acceleration. Second part that is the free running and third part that is a retardation. So we have point D and point E. We have maximum speed during free running. So here we have maximum speed and that can be written as Vm. This indicates retardation here we have free running and this indicates acceleration so for the acceleration time required that is t1 for the retardation time required that is t3 and for free running time required it is t2 and total time required that is time t to travel or actual time of run so this is total time so our total time t that is t1 plus t2 plus t3 now we have rate of acceleration that is alpha acceleration and we have beta that is a rate of retardation and the unit for alpha as well as beta that is kilometer per hour per second same way we have maximum speed we have average speed vm that is a maximum speed 
VA that is the average speed and then we have VS that is a scheduled speed all the speed can be measured in kilometer per hour now time required for acceleration that is t1 so t1 can be written as vm divided by alpha and same way t3 can be written as vm vm is our maximum speed divided by beta now total time t is t1 plus t2 plus t3 and therefore t2 can be written as t minus t1 plus t3 and that can be written as vm by alpha minus vm by beta now total distance d and that is in kilometer area under the curve so area under the curve that is a uh, area under o a b c for our sake of simplicity we have divided our area in three part so our total distance can be divided into three part distance traveled during acceleration plus distance traveled during free running plus distance traveled during retardation so here we can see that uh, we have our first triangle then we have our second rectangular and then we have third triangular so we can write uh, total area that is the area of triangle OAE O A E plus area here we have a rectangular A B D E so area A B D E and plus area B C D triangular B C D area now let us substitute the value for area of the triangle so here we can write a one of multiplied by we have ae multiplied by base that is oe plus for a rectangular we have again ae multiplied by ed plus one of bd multiplied by cd for oe de and cd that is the time t1 t2 and t3 for AE, we have maximum speed that is a VM. So now if we substitute the values, then we can write as a one up 
Vm that is maximum speed time T1. T1 is in second and our speed that is in kilometer per hour. So we have to change our time from second to hour. So we have to divide by 3600 plus Vm time T2 divided by 3600 plus one of Vm T3 divided by 3600. Now in the next step we have to substitute the values for T1, T2 and T3. We know that T1 that is a Vm by alpha, T3 that is a Vm by beta. So now let us substitute Vm divided by 7200 multiplied by Vm by alpha. Vm by alpha that is the value for T1 plus Vm divided by 3600. Now we have total time minus Vm by alpha that is T1 minus Vm by beta that is T2 and plus Vm by 7200 and Vm divided by beta. So we have substituted all the values. Now what we need to do is we need to do the simplification. So again for the D that is total distance. Now here we have Vm square divided by 7200 alpha plus Vm divided by 3600 T minus Vm square 3600 alpha minus Vm square 3600 beta and then plus Vm square 7200 beta. So now in the next step we have to do the simplification. We can subtract this value from this value. In same way, this value can be subtracted from the this value. So if we do the simplification, then we can write Vm divided by 3600 T. This quantity we have written as it is. Then we can subtract this value from the value. So minus Vm square 7200 alpha minus Vm square 7200 beta and that is equal to D. Now with further simplification we can write uh, the equation as a Vm square 7200 alpha plus Vm square 7200 beta minus Vm divided by 3600 T plus D is equal to 0. From first two quantity let us take uh, vm square divided by 3600 common vm square divided by 3600 we have taken common so remaining part that is 1 divided by 2 times alpha plus 1 divided by 2 times beta 
माइनस वी एम डिवाइड बाय थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो टी प्लस डी इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ एट दिस स्टेज वील पुट k for this quantity so therefore k is equal to 1 upon 2 alpha plus 1 upon 2 beta if we substitute this value then we can write our equation as vm square divided by 3600 k minus vm divided by 3600 t plus d is equal to 0 now for this 3600 we can take a common and we can take that value on the right hand side then we can write vm square k minus vm T plus three six zero zero D, and that is equal to zero. Now this equation, we know that it is a quadratic equation, and for the quadratic equation to find the root of the quadratic equation, we have a formula. To find the root of the quadratic equation, we have. Formula minus b plus minus under root b square minus four ac divided by two a. Here also we have a quadratic equation, and to find the root of this quadratic equation, we can find the root for v m. Here we have a that is equal to k b. That is equal to minus t, and c that is equal to three six zero zero d. Now, for the v m, that is our maximum speed. We find the root. So minus b that is t minus minus plus plus minus b square. So t square minus four. Multiplied by k, multiplied by three six zero zero d, and divided by two a, two k. With simplification, we can write a t plus minus t square minus one four four zero zero k d, three six zero zero multiplied by four, and divided by 2k to finding the root for maximum speed if we use a plus sign then it gives a very high speed and practically that speed is not possible so we use a negative sign so with the negative sign vm that is t Minus t square minus one four four zero zero k d divided by two k. So we have established the relationship between maximum speed and distance to be traveled from the trapezoidal speed time curve. That is simplified speed time curve for the main line service. so this way we have established the relationship with this relationship we can do the analysis of various numericals thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much